Hello everyone, and welcome to March, 1st of March, St. David's Day. And I thought we'd embrace that spirit of um, the beginnings of spring in our uh, Qigong practice today. So um, the system of the main system of uh, Qigong that I learned in China is kind of influenced by the seasons and organized around the seasons. Um, and at this time, there's a focus on as spring emerges, the wood element becomes a focus and focus on um, our liver and also a focus on rising energy. So um, the, the color that, that uh, we thought about at the time is green. And if you have a little kind of walk around um, some park, if you, have, if you can see some trees uh, nearby in a garden, maybe something like that, you might notice the rising sap in the trees, there's a greenness rising up, and that, that emerges. And then in a few weeks, definitely next month, we'll start to see green buds and shoots emerge from the trees. So that kind of rising energy is something we want to kind of tap into now, which is a move on from um, our winter practice that we've previously been doing, where we've been kind of um, more focused on structure and being uh, slower and more still. Now we want to embrace that rising energy. So um, we're going to think about a couple of um, animals for that. The main one is dragon. But before we get into dragon, um, we're going to do a little bit of leopard stretching as well. All right. Both of these in um, in my Qigong system has been, I've been used to kind of activate our liver networks and, and that involves some stretching out the body. So we'll do a little bit of leopard stretching and then get into dragon. And this probably for the next few weeks, play on the idea of the dragon for a bit as we embrace spring. All right, cool. So stretch one arm up or both arms up interconnected. Twist to one side. Chain side. Come back to the middle, separate, bring the hands down. Hands on your legs, and then look to one side. Chain side. Look straight ahead. Then one ear to one shoulder. Change. Come up, circle the head one way. And the other way. All right, good. Shoulders up to the ears, roll back. And roll forward. One arm, circle back. And circle forward. And then the other arm, is that available for you, the whole arm to circle back? Or if not, can you find some movement in the chest on the other side? The other one starts to circle the body back as well as the arm circling back. And then the same going forward, not the arm, does the whole chest and trunk move instead, which is our core Tai Chi Qigong zone anyway. We want everything to come from here with the arms and the legs, if available, being ripples. If they're not available, we still start the core of the movement from our body here. All right, so the um, the dragon kind of practice we're doing involves lots of stretching and twists of the body. So let's just bring that to mind. If you take one arm across the body, grab hold of the chair and twist to one side. You want to be up tall and then twisting around here. 
and then change either the other arm is available to cross over or if not using the same arm but on the other side of your chair or wherever you're standing. So this week I'm going to show some standing and moving variations as well and not just stay in the chair. I think the rising up is going to encourage me to, to take a standing position for some of this. So if you are comfortable doing a standing practice, definitely have a go at it today. Um, if that's not right for you, stay seated, but be tall in yourself, tall in your seated posture. All right. Uh, one leg, lift up, circle the foot one way, change direction, uh, stretch, other leg, same, if available, circle one way. And then remember, you can use your hands to support or without. Whatever helps limbs get into some sense of movement. All right, so we're going to start off with a leopard before we get to our dragon. All right, so what I want you to do is we're going to take one arm out and then we're going to, as if we're holding a plate, and then we're going to come and we're going to push over and Dread this side of the body here. Okay, like a leopard core stretching itself out. So I'm doing a seated version first, and I'll show you guys standing version as well. Then you can drop that arm down. Circle both hands around. And then lift. If the other arm is available to you, you're gonna lift the other arm and then do the same to lift the other side and then push over and stretch. If this arm's not available to you, I want you to lean to the other side and try and get much of a stretch on the opposite side as possible. And then you might wanna start looking to where your arm is pointing as well. So without straining your neck or your head, so gently sit down, circle around. Oh, I'm building up the movement. Open out. Push across, and I'm looking to where I'm pushing. And then drop the arm down. Circle around, holding the moon on the other side. And I'm going to open the other arm out. Push across the body. Here I'm looking. So I'll just demonstrate both arms initially, and then I'll focus on the one arm version. Down. Circle. Hold. Mm -hmm. One arm goes out, holding a plate, and then pushes across the body. And this begins a nice stretch to start off our leather based practice with elements. We're in practice waking up, rising fat, rising energy. Down. Circle this way, hold the knee. And this arm out. Stretch across. Okay, now I'm going to show one arm version, okay? So one arm holding out, pushes across. Looking where you're pushing. Drop down, come up. Hand on top, and then bring the hand just on the opposite shoulder and lean this way. Down, circle round, hands on the bottom. Open out, push across. And 
Bring it down. Circle around. On the opposite shoulder. Lean this way. Right. Circle round to the bottom. Open out. Push across. Down, circle around on the opposite shoulder, lean to the other side. Okay, final go with both arms. So you're going to circle one, push your cross, apologies for the background noise, circle around. Uh, down, circle around this way, open the other arm up, push, circle around, open out, push, down, circle around, then we're going to close. We're going to add uh, so one more on this way. This way, we're going to push this way. Just so balanced out. And then we drop down and breathe in as we circle in. Coming out, circle. Round. I hope those leopard stretches will give you a sense of length in the trunk of the body and also apologies for the background sorry it's, uh, last week of homeschooling before the kids go back to school next week okay all right so so that stretched us and we involved the idea of kind of moving across one body which is going to help us for a twist now okay so let's, I'm going to move into dragon. So I'm going to do a seated version of dragon and I'm going to do a standing version as well. All right. So first of all, we get dragon. Dragon presents the claws. So if you want to open your arms out, hands out wide, imagine you're holding a big ball, okay? And you, you just try to hold one hand, a big ball in each hand, and you're going to bring the claws up like this. And then you're going to Circle round and come into hollow black fist and bring it back in one or both hands. One, bring it out. Two, these are dragons playing with the pearl. Three, circle, back, four, circle. Uh, that's good. Just play with the claws coming out, circling, grabbing the pearl, pulling the pearl back. Out, circle, back. Out, circle. Back, that's it. Circling with the poles, presenting that. Good. Okay, now we're going to do dragons dancing. So you're going to circle around one of both hands, two dragons dancing. As they come down, left comes over, right, open up again. And then we're going to do one more. Okay, and then we're going to change the circle, open it around the other way to set us up for frizzy fine. So 
is the da dragon shaking its tail. So I want you to imagine throwing a frisbee out one way, other way. So the basic movement is build it up. This frisbee one arm, frisbee the other arm. This is the two arm version. One arm, two arm. One arm version is the frisbee out the side of the arm that's responsive to you. And then bring that arm across the body, palm down. Out, palm up, across, palm down. Out, palm up, across, palm down. Okay, out, across, out, across. So with two arms, what we're going to do is crossing over the body, the bottom palm goes out, palm up, throwing that frisbee, comes back, palm down, it sends the other arm, palm up, throwing the frisbee. So it's like a domino effect if the two arms are available to you. Well, one thing here is to be tall and enjoy the twist of the body around. Be it the two arm version or the one arm version. Out, crossing the body. Out, crossing the body. Out. So I'm going to show you standing versions now, guys. All right. So just enjoy that twist. And here's the thing, so the different energies have positive and more cautious aspects. So there's rising energies, good for an awakening and hope growing. But the, uh, the downside could be rising anger or frustration that can overtake everything. Like you hear my son in the background having a difficult time in his last week of homeschooling. Frustration is difficult and rising um, anger can be difficult and can be destructive. So the idea about embracing the rising aspect, but channeling it in a way that, that works for you and is adaptive. Okay, so, so we're gonna try standing version. Okay, so you either keep the frisbee going on the, um, on the uh, seated, or if you wanna try a more standing upright version, we can do that frisbee. And as you do, the options here are either just to keep the seat flat on the ground, and as you bend the knees and swing, bend, swing, bend, bend. So that's one option. If you want to enjoy more of a swing, there are a couple of other options here. Okay, so one is lifting the heel of the opposite foot as you swing around. Lifting the heel, lifting the heel, lifting the heel, lifting the heel like this. The arm and the body is then twisting around, throwing up frisbee behind you, but lifting your heel. So we're, this is a faster kind of practice that some of the other animals have explored. But you keep it light, keep it light. Enjoy that waking up energy. And don't go to a point of imbalance, dizziness. We want this to be a routine to the same feelings we've been exploring in all our practices, that flow, that relaxation, that absorption in the movement. So we're lifting. Heels are like the dragon, part of the dragon behind us, dragon coiling around. Good. And then if you want, those of you who want some more, but even more challenging, what you want is one up here is lift one leg, twist, down, lift the other leg, twist, down, lifting leg, twist. So you see, I knew you went then. So this is really tricky, but you can lift the leg with a twist. So this is a very tricky version. I do with my Kung Fu students. So a great one is 
lifting the opposite heel, which is a good one to mobilize the whole body. Good. All right, now we're going to move into the other movement in this practice, all right, which is drag and turning. So you just stay seated. We will turn ABC fast face, stay standing. We will turn to seated position. We're going to do both sessions here. So the drag and turning is the idea of a wave coming over, coiling down. A wave crashing over, coiling down the side of the body. Out. Coil down. Forward. Coil. Wave crashes over down and forward and let it leave your body. So coil over. So this two handed version. I'll show you the one handed version and the standing version in a minute. Coil. Again, this is getting nice twists and reaching of the whole body. A wave crashes over, down under your armpit, down the side of the body. Goes off into one side, other side. Coils over, down the side of the body, out. One more. And one more this side. Okay, one side inversion to be coiling this way. Turn the other way. Coiling this way. Turn the other way. Coil this way. Turn the other way. Over. Through. Through. Over. Through. Turn the body. Through. Over. Through to the body. One more. Two hand inversions again. Coil, reach, coil, reach, coil, reach. Very dragon like. And we can develop that again, standing up. All right. So we're going to go into one leg bent, one leg straight as we coil over. We change legs so the other leg is bent, so coil over. Changing to one leg bent, one leg straight. If that's feeling too much in terms of lower body mobility, stay upright and do the core of one side. Oh, sorry. The more upright in the legs. The arm and the trunk movement is the key. Good. And then we're going to conclude this bring rising, sap rising energy into by a practice by the dragon shaking off its wings. One or both arms circling up and back. One arm circling up, back, two arms, and then slow this down. The dragon has a stretch of its wings, getting sleepy now. And then one up, both hand up, and again, just let that energy slow down inside you, settle. And to conclude the practice, big breath, circle, you're seated or standing. Breath out, hands down the middle. Standing, bring the feet close together. Seated, stay where you are. 
hands on your belly. Bring your awareness to your belly and your hands. Notice where the heat is in your body, indication of the energy work that you've just done. Thank you so much, guys. That's been awesome. Apologies again for the noise. One week to go and then the kids are back at school. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.